I wonder if you've ever thought about why you're in your particular club or team or sporting context right now. Maybe they're the best team in the area. Maybe they're the only team in the area. Maybe the coaching is just of a standard where you thought, here's a place I can really develop and push on as an athlete, as a player. Maybe quite simply, it was the best financial package. In 1 Peter 2 verse 9, we're given a different reason. Peter says that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. You see, one of the main reasons you're in your team or club right now is to declare the praises of him. Or to put it another way, to talk to your friends in sport about Jesus. Earlier on in chapter 2 verse 9, Peter gives us four rich descriptions of who God has made us in Jesus Christ. Our new identity as believers. He says we're a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a special possession, literally a people belonging to God. And God has done this for us by sending Jesus to die on a cross to move us from darkness into light. Not only to give us a new hope, but to give us a new purpose. And part of that purpose, says Peter, is to declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. You know when you come off your plane and, and you head towards customs, I imagine you usually make your way towards the gate that says, nothing to declare. You see, here's the point of 1 Peter 2 verse 9. We really have got something to declare, to make known to this world, and it is the most precious news imaginable. That God's Son Jesus left heaven and walked in this world and died on a cross to deal with sin and put us back in the right with God. And you see, we'll all have our own way of approaching evangelism, of declaring the good news of Jesus. Depending on our personality type, some may be quite front-footed and quite bold in their evangelism. Others may be a little bit more reserved. But here's the point. Maybe the first step for us all is this. Number one, remember who you are in Christ, what Jesus has done for you. And number two, to recognise that you're in your sports club or team right now to share the good news of the gospel. Or as Peter might say, to declare the praises of him. Mm -hmm.